Hi everyone, I've got a grocery outlet haul. We hadn't been down there in a little while. I guess about a week or something like that. But um, I, we wanted to go around and just look at things and see what new things they got in. And we ended up definitely finding lots of stuff. But uh, it was still cheap. So anyway, we got some milk. Oh my goodness, I wonder if she knows how much this was. Well, Mayfield milk is very expensive. It's really good though. And it was three fifty nine. It was two two forty or something like that at Kroger. So, but but May, uh, Mayfield at Kroger would even probably be more than that. I wouldn't doubt it. It's real expensive. But we didn't want to go to two stores, and we needed some milk. So anyway, uh, we got this. Here's what I put in the probably have in my thumbnail. Uh, it's a crazy cheap deal, kitty. So now there's something. Else. There you go. Uh, I've been looking, I've been watching these. These Lloyd's uh, St. Louis Styles Pork Spare Ribs and Barbecue Sauce. Because they were $9.99. And um, they had a bunch of them. A whole lot of them. And I said to Joy, and she remembered me saying it. I said, Joy, they will never sell these for $9.99 here. Now, this, I wouldn't doubt at Kroger's. That or, or Walmart, either one. I wouldn't doubt that this is probably fifteen bucks. Just my guess at how high everything else is. So nine ninety nine was still probably a good deal. But like I said, I've been watching them, going in there every week, and I said, oh, they still got quite a few, you know, quite a few. And then finally today, they had just got down, got done, marking them down to five dollars. Five dollars. I don't know how good you can see that though, but that's what it says. Five bucks, so I got two of them, and look at these things. I mean, that's plenty for three of us. And we love Lloyd's Barbecue. We love their sauce that they have in their barbecue, so uh, we know we're going to like it. So I'm going to freeze one and put one in the fridge probably for tomorrow because we already decided on chicken tenders tonight. So I got two of those. It's okay, honey. It's okay. So I got two. All right, and then we got this, uh, The we know, like we said, we know them pretty much down there, everybody, and we were asking about like anything new or anything like that. Uh, we saw the girl working in, the assistant manager working in the free, uh, frozen foods, and she said that this um, Jenny O, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Jenny O, hand-stretched, naturally leavened, wood fire baked pizza. It's the margarita. Uh, it's... Tomatoes, buffalo, mozzarella, and fresh basil, it says. So, uh, it was only $2.50. I don't know how much this is elsewhere, but I thought that was a pretty good deal for it. She said it was delicious. So, I got something I'll probably put on it, too, uh, here in a minute. I mean, not in a minute, <laughs> when we make it. Anyway, and I, I saw we got stuff for stir fry and we got some egg rolls, but we've been wanting something else. And they had this uh, Chardon Hot Pan, I guess is the name. Authentic Asia uh, Steamed Shrimp Wonton Dim Sum Tray. Hand wrapped in whole shrimp. Hand wrapped whole shrimp with a sesame soy dipping sauce. There's two trays. Two six count trays and two sauce packets. Depending on how big they are, that might be enough for two times. Because that'd just give us that'd give us two each and then have egg rolls, you know, too. So that'd be something different, a little. And it's only $1.99, which I think is a great deal too. They had something else by this one, but I can't remember what it was by this company. Can't remember what it was. Um, we've been getting this Daniel Boone country ham down there. We've just been buying the, like, little biscuit slices, pieces and stuff for, uh, when we were making, um, green beans this summer, especially. And, uh, so we, we like the ham. And what I like is it's sugar cured, which the one I used to sell, um, when I was working was called Hobes, H-O-B-E-S. And it's a sugar cured ham too. And I really like the sugar cured compared to the salt cured. I don't need all that salt, which I'm sure it has salt in it. But this is ham slices, and it says uh, ingredients are cured with salt, white sugar, brown sugar, sodium nitrate, 
and sodium nitrite. You know, and I know those two might not be that great for you, the sodium nitrate and nitrite, only if you eat it all the time, you know, and things. But we don't really have that much of that. So it's good till next year, 62323, I think is what it says. Yeah. So we got a pack of that for uh, $3.99, which really is not that bad. There's quite a bit in it. You can see it's it's pretty thick. Watch out, Kitty. I need to get that out of And then this is what I think I'll put on the um, on the uh, pizza. It's Hormel Canadian bacon, but it's shaped like little pepperonis, which is awesome. I've never seen them like that before. It's Hormel. And so, you know, this would have less fat in it than pepperoni. That's not for kitties. Lay down, honey. Lay down. Yeah. Okay, so that's the refrigerator and stuff, so I need to put that up, and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. We got two tomatoes. We had to look through. Man, they were, they were rough. I hope these last a few days. Uh... Yeah, a lot of them are overripe, so we did dug through them and found two decent ones. Uh, they were $1.99 a pound. I hate paying that much for them, but I've got some uh, that are, you know, going to ripen, but they're they're green right now. I mean, so anyway, I uh, got some, we needed some more t tortillas. These are Chi Chi's 100 calorie fajita style tortillas. And they've got till November 30th. I'm sure we'll eat them before then. And they're only 50 cents. You know, Chi Chi's is a good brand. There's eight of them in there, so I thought that was a good deal. They're real soft. They didn't have, usually they have a lot of different kinds of tortillas down there. But today, they just had this one and a uh, whole wheat one, which I didn't really think I'd like. Um, they had this brand. I think all tomato sauce is probably close to being the same. Uh, but this one is Delicioso Prim Primero Calidad Tomato Sauce. And I don't remember how much Aldi's, uh, Aldi has theirs for now. I know it went up. They used to be 25 cents at Aldi. And I'm thinking they're like 39 cents or something now. They went way up. Uh, but this one was only 25 cents, so I got four of these. I already had some of the Aldi ones left, but that's a much better deal right now. And I thought I'd get, you know, get them and try them and see how they are. And then before they run out of them down there, which they'll sell at that price. Before they run out, I want to get some more if they're good. Um, it's all about trying to save money on my total food bill. And if it's stuff that we can... Uh, like stock up on then that's even more the better you know so that's what i'm trying to do uh, at gro going to grocery outlets so much because it's name brand stuff it's you know well i mean you know, this name brand you probably may not have heard of but they've got you know oddball brands too that, that you know you don't know what they are but they're usually just pretty good i mean just try them you know and then they got brands like this you know craft this is the creamy italian and it's a dollar forty-nine. I know it's more than that. Other places, probably two bucks or more, uh, unless it was on sale. But we thought we'd get that. But yeah, we're stocking up. I've been doing this for, for a long time. I've been used to. At one time, I, I, I uh, stocked uh, MRIs, but they have gotten really expensive. I used to buy them by the case, and you know I would keep probably eight cases on hand of all you know different all different types uh at all, at all times you know i would rotate them out you know we would use them and they're they're really good i mean i didn't have any problem with them join logan liked them too but uh they've got too expensive to do that really um anyway uh if y'all have heard of annie's brand i'm sure before the organic uh annie's organic stuff but i've never seen this olive and vinegar and it says vegan usda organic no added sugar that's big plus for me and uh it's a oil and vinegar vinaigrette and it's, it is organic and um non-gmo verified 
expeller pressed oil, no artificial flavors, no synthetic colors. Uh, eight servings per container, 120 calories for two tablespoons. That seems like more like eight servings. That would just be eight. Eight servings would be 16 tablespoons. Doesn't that seem like that'd be more? Anyway, uh, 120 calories, total fat 13 grams is 17%. It's got one gram of saturated, 5%. No trans fat, no cholesterol, 10% of sodium, that's good. Uh, two grams of carbs is 1% is all. And uh, no fiber, no sugars, no added sugars, no protein, and nothing else. But it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients. Is it, you know, that's what I like. You don't see many ingredients. And you'll have to excuse my hands I, out in the garden. Just make sure I... I washed my hands, but I haven't cleaned them with the fingernail clippers or anything yet. But they're not too bad. Uh, yeah, so I thought this would be a really good one to try. And uh, at first I thought it was just oil and vinegar, but you can see there's plenty of stuff in there. So I thought that'd be a good buy for a dollar. I'm sure it's more than that elsewhere. And these are... Oh my gosh. These instant grits, which y'all uh, know me, know I, I eat a lot of grits because of the iron in them. And this one, by the way, just looking at it, the iron is... Iron, 60% per serving. And this is the uh, cheddar cheese instant grits and this is $3.99 at Kroger it went up it used to be like $3.59 it's $3.99 um, the same exact thing $1.49 I don't know what the it's got till January 5 23 I'll definitely there's just 10 packs I'll definitely eat them I got one more pack of them the last time so I got two I don't care as much for the cheddar one um, I think it's got a little bit of salt in it. See, 20%. Um, and the the butter ones, which is the ones I usually use right here. Let me, this, let me here. The butter ones. Let's see how much sodium they have. See, 15% in the butter. Buttered ones. And it's, what did I say in this one? 20%. So there's definitely less... Um, less sodium in, in the regular or the, the butter flavor but for $1.49 I believe I'll I'll be able to handle that okay we just had uh, you know I made some jambalaya with this uh, this Margaret home stuff I showed it and everything uh, this stuff is fantastic I have one of them I wanted to get another one uh, sooner or later they're gonna run out they did have a bunch of them and it's, it's dwindling I think people that try them are probably getting more of it. And I didn't get one of the chili ones, though, because they like, although it was good, it was really good and easy to fix uh, with a Simple Supper's chili one. But uh, they like my chili that I make in the crock pot better. Okay. Um, I got four different kinds of this. Uh, it's, called, it's There's no sugar. It's Kamsa, K-A-M-S-A. Organic probiotic water. It's non-sparkling. Uh, this one is ginger lemonade. I don't know. Y'all may have seen these. I don't know. I have never seen them before, but you, that's the thing about it. You never know what you're going to find down there. I'm trying to see. Manufactured in USA. Miami, Florida. So y'all that live down in Florida... Have you have you seen these? Is it popular down there, or uh, have you not seen them? Uh, I was just wondering. I don't know. It's organic, USDA organic, and it's an enhanced beverage. It says one bottle, no calories, no fat, one percent sodium, no carbs, no sugars, no protein. It's just has two billion CFUs from Bactillus, whatever. And ginger root per bottle is a thousand milligrams. So it's obviously good for you. 
here it is, plant-based, keto, zero carbs, no stevia, no sugar, alcohols, and caffeine-free. So what does it have? Where's the ingredients? What does it have for a filtered water, lemon juice concentrate? Or monk fruit. Monk fruit extract is what they're using. Them. So they're 79 cents. They have four kinds. I thought I could try some on Morning Coffee Break or we could try some on Logan's. Uh, this one is turmeric mango. Turmeric mango. And same thing with it. No calories or nothing. They're all the same it looks like. Just that 1% of 1% of sodium, which is nothing. This one is maca pineapple coconut. Stuff floating in it. Have to shake it up, I guess. Maca pineapple coconut. It's the same as far as the nutrition facts. And this one is ginger strawberry. So I thought they were interesting, 79 cents. So, well, I was hoping there's a little less, but that's the four kinds that they have down there. Okay, we got this huge bag of jet puffed, it says s'more marshmallows. They're vanilla marshmallows, but they're huge. They're like square shapes, see? See the square, which would fit on a, uh, graham cracker so much easier look at that isn't that wouldn't that be good the graham crackers we'll have to make some i think we have to get some chocolate though uh yeah we got these for a dollar and they're 21 ounces big bag that's a good deal we got some bananas and kitty has already found these i've had to open one of them i don't know where she went I think she's in her laying in her stroller but we got her some more of these friskies party mix this should last a while chicken and waffle flavors for 219 uh, I didn't know if she would like these when we got that one the other day uh, the last time we were there and she is crazy over them she loves them and uh, for 219 it's six ounces uh, I'm sure that's how much it was six ounces yeah and uh yeah six ounces and um they're like four bucks elsewhere or more i think they're like 398 or they since i looked at them they probably went up they're probably up over four dollars so that's a great deal for 219 probably half price um we tried some of these sun-made raisins uh, the raisin snacks sour raisin snacks but i think it was um raspberry it was blue raspberry or something like that uh, i know it was well they have this time they've got the strawberry sour raisins they're made with golden raisins and for dollar 29 that's way cheap i saw some of these i don't know how good you can see that i saw some of these i don't know what kind it was i can't remember at, at uh, kroger and they were ridiculous they were, i think they were over three dollars i'm not i can't remember for sure but i remember saying Wow, they were like $1.29 at Grocery Outlet. You, you hate when you buy something somewhere else, like Kroger or Walmart, and then when you go down there, you see the same thing you paid a lot for. <laughs> I hate when that happens, though. But anyway, we got these. I'm not for sure about this brand. It looks interesting. Epic art, Artisanal Pork Rinds. Skins from pork raised without antibiotics. It's barbecue seasoning. Only has one gram of total carbs. So I thought this would be good for Logan's show. And it was a dollar. A dollar. I'm trying to wonder if there's any. Epic Provisions, Austin, Texas. So they're from Texas. The company is. So I don't know if y'all have seen this one or not. But for a dollar, I thought this was a good one to try. And I made some of these with the jam jambalaya, and uh, I added some shredded Colby Jack, or no, shredded Cheddar Jack cheese to them. That's what we had at the time. 
uh, you know, when I made them, that's the only cheddar type we had. So, but anyway, it was fantastic. Fantastic. The cheddar garlic, a lot like the ones at uh, Red Lobster. But $1.29, and they've already sold since the last time we were there. They got a, had a bunch of it. Had a bunch of different kinds of this, this brand. And o over half of it was gone. I mean... It, way, I'm like more like three fourths of it was already gone, so I got two of them because I really we really do like these. They turn out really good, and we didn't have any milk, and I used powdered milk, and I think I'm going to start using powdered milk. Of course, I need to use that expensive milk now, but I was kidding Joy about it. But uh, yeah, Mayfield is expensive everywhere. But anyway, um, so I used powdered milk making them and made some milk you know and it worked out fine worked out great so i may start doing that with the stuff we bake that call for milk okay they had these riceland y'all have heard of riceland rice uh it's called rice and easy they had three different kinds they're dollar 39 each which isn't bad so we got this one is a uh, thai curry coconut flavored rice yes Hold on one minute. Okay, yeah. So this and this is the kind that's ready in like 90 seconds. You microwave it. it says it's got turmeric, onion, and garlic in it too. So gluten free. I'm I'm kind of trying to watch the gluten. Um, I know it's not that great for uh, my Crohn's disease, so I'm trying to watch it a little bit. Uh, whenever I can find stuff that says gluten free. I, I like to get that. And this one's gluten-free. I guess all three of them are. This one is Yucatan Arroz Rojo. I don't know if I said that right or not. But that's that one. A raw dollar. These were dollar this one was a dollar forty-nine. The, the coconut was a dollar thirty-nine. And then this one, Bengal Butter Curry. Yeah, so very interesting different flavors we've never tried so we that's um, i thought it'd be a good one to, to get some of them so anyway this one was a dollar 49. i got this plate i think it's it's plastic though but i just liked it it's a it was a dollar 29 but what do y'all think i like that it looks like a, a regular plate but you can tell it's plastic. I thought it was pretty. So I got that. Out. Okay. They had my Herdez avocado hot sauce in the small bottle. They got the big ones too. And um, the big one was marked down to 69 cents, which is 12 ounces. And uh, They've got these small five ounce bottles. They were 50 cents. Now they're marked down to 25 cents. So when I figured it out, you know, three of these would only be 75 cents and I'd get 15 ounces instead of 12. I'd get three more ounces for uh, six more cents, I guess. Seven, let's see, that was 69 and six is 75 so six more cents and I got three more ounces which is quote you know over half of a bottle more so I got three of the 25 cent ones I love that stuff we all love it and oh we got some of these the other day and we'd never tried them before oh my gosh oh and by the way these are smaller than they used to be the little cookie smaller it's not as long as it used to be I'm not kidding. You'll see if you try any of them. But this uh, coconut chocolate, oh, it's so good, you won't believe it. Um, they're very fresh still. Uh, and I got a stovetop stuffing mix. We're kind of making sure that we have uh, turkey, you know, Thanksgiving foods. And we need to get a, and you know what? I meant to look because they did have some turkey breast. Oh, well, we'll look next time we go down there. But we um, we just need to get us a turkey breast. We usually just fix one in the crock pot for Thanksgiving. Uh, it's always tender and juicy that way. 
So anyway, I got a stovetop turkey stuffing mix for a dollar, which is cheap now. They used to be all kind of cheap like that. but And we got some of these the other day. And I tell you what, you get you some sliced Colby Jack or hot pepper and put a, you know, I, I make it into four pieces. It, you know, the square folded up and make it in four pieces. And we had them with these garlic butter Ritz crackers. And it is great. Really good. And this was $1.99 which I don't know how much they are now at this, at other stores, but I'm sure they're probably close to twice as much. Just my guess. And I got some of these the other day. They were marked down with Chips Ahoy Thins. They were marked down to $1.29. And um, <clears throat> I think they were $1.99 or something like that before. Or they could have been a little more. I'm not, I, I, I can't remember. Um... But anyway, these are great. I love the, I like these better than I do the regular Chips Ahoy. They're crispier, like, I just like them. I really like them. They're not hard, you know, they're no harder than the other ones, the, the original Chips Ahoy, but I just like them better. They're just, I don't know, something about them. I just like them. So anyway, I think that's everything. We didn't need any bread of any kind. So we still got some buns frozen and some hot dog buns frozen and some the hoagie buns frozen. So anyway, we got some great deals, everybody. It was about 70 bucks, but I mean, two racks of ribs, them probably would have been 30 bucks for two of them elsewhere. So, I mean, just that one item we saved like crazy. So, and you just can't hardly pass it up. I mean, um. But what's good is we won't need as much the first of the month now. We're, we'll be pretty well stocked up. So um, that's what I'm working towards because we've got the holidays coming up and we still got more work to be done in the basement on our foundation. He wants me to keep an eye on it to see if it's any water's coming in when it rains. But it didn't rain that much yet to tell. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this grocery outlet haul. We really saved some major bucks there. I'm not kidding you. It's, it's unbelievable sometimes. I mean, we always do good every time we go there. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you later on.